Rotary Club of the Bahamas have teamed up to address the serious issue of conflict resolution. This morning, the group launched its action plan as organizers took their message to students of St. John's College. Our Carla Palmer was there. St. John's College students were removed from their traditional classroom setting for a lesson focused on peace and conflict resolution. It is timely now because of the serious nature of what's happening in our community. Uh, crime is at uh, probably, at a level we know that uh, we, it's not acceptable. And so what we're trying to do is bring recognition to the problem. We're trying to bring solutions that our young people could implement to help to resolve or reduce, reduce conflicts within their areas. For years now, February continues to be celebrated as Peace and Conflict Month by 1.2 million Rotary members worldwide, of which there are more than 35,000 clubs in over 200 countries. Here at home, Rotarians, along with the Royal Bahamas Police Force, are hoping the message resonates with the nation's youth. Former District Governor of Rotary is Felix Stubbs. So what we're trying to do is not just make a lecture and say, uh, you know, we have to reduce crime and walk away. We're trying to uh, inculcate into the students a culture of, of peace and, 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 and no conflict. And we're trying to give them uh, tools that they can use uh, within their families, their friends, and, and their community that will help people to better uh, uh, respond to conflicts. The students were presented with various scenarios of how to resolve conflicts, including skits. Chief Superintendent Ken Strong says the message cannot be overemphasized. We came to disagree. However, when that moves to the point of violence, that becomes a problem. So we want to encourage each and everybody, take control of your own self and take control of your attitude and your anger. St. John's Vice Principal Cecile Campbell wholeheartedly embraces the prevention measure. And I think that with their partnership with the Rotary Club, there is more of a national attempt to curb the challenges that we are having in our community. And I'm very pleased about that. They were well received. And I think it was very important for our children to understand that it was not just the police officers they see every day, that the police has a very diverse group of people that together work in tandem to fight crime. Rotary clubs throughout the Bahamas intend to spread its message to various forums throughout the country. Carl Palmer, ZNS Network News.